Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome to Rustic Waters mod pack on the Breakfast Craft servers. I have been idling. <laughs> I've been on for a little over an hour and really haven't done anything other than make sure I don't starve to death and uh, watching my strainers work. <laughs> <laughs> I logged, I'm like, oh, let's see what I can get done before stream, and then, yeah, nothing. I've got nothing done. I did cook up some of that plastic refuse that we're getting here, the plastic waste. Turned it into raw plastic because we can use it for rat stuff, which we may potentially maybe use. But we can also use it to turn it into adhesive for embers, and that has a few more uses but not a ton. So we'll see, you know, whatever. It doesn't have, it has one use on its own to make a water bottle for the rat's cage, but that, that's really it. So yeah, just been kind of watching this go and I've been cleaning it out every so often and I've been running things through here. So there's a whole bunch of this to process, which I can get to. Um, I might have room to run it through today, right now. So if we just grab all of this and start filling these up. All right. So how are we? It's Sunday. And um, there has been an update to the pack. We are not on the most updated update that happened to come out within minutes of the admin updating to 1.1.4. And he was just like, ugh, okay, that's gonna have to wait a couple days. <laughs> so 1.1.5 is out, but we are not on it yet. It, it'll be, we'll be on it probably tomorrow or Tuesday, whatever. If you're interested in playing this pack with the Breakfast Craft team, I'll get this started at the beginning. You need to be at least 18 years old. It is a mature server. And you need to apply via breakfastcraft.com. It's a quick and easy process and then join the discord and off you go. You're all set. So I'm wearing my wetsuit because the diving gear that we made last time, you get really warm. <laughs> it, it, it keeps you a little warmer and standing around in here, I was getting hot. And then of course, if you stand next to furnaces, you get hot. I stood around next to these furnaces long enough, you're gonna get hot. I know I did when I was standing next to that furnace. And this heating coil that I made, boy does it make it hot in here. Really, really hot. So I have to, like, I had the flames coming up here. So <laughs> you can be a little careful about our temperature control. Anyways. We're going to start out this stream by getting into the rats mod. We've got, which this is bugged, this is not accurate. <laughs> this is when I said, why, how is this complete? I, I don't have flame string yet, so I'm not going to click claim until I have some flame string. You get that from the nether. And we, we haven't even found the nether portal, let alone tried to go to the nether. So. This, this says it's complete and it's a waiting, but it's not, it, it's really not. So go back to the introduction where we learn about rats. This is what we're going to start with today is getting through the rats mod. Um, I did some investigating and there's a little bit to it. Um, there's not as much as I thought there was. And there's a lot of things that aren't covered in any of the spotlights. So it must be really new. And that includes a lot of the decorative pieces like things you put in the cage and the rat tubes and whatnot. None of there was none of that was documented anywhere, so I'm not quite sure I want to get into the decorative stuff at the moment. I do want a chef rat. And I'll explain when we get to that point. So we're going to start there. We're going to go through all, try to get through all of those rat quests in the introduction chapter and then hopefully um I think we're as far as we can go here unless we do some of this lining which we're gonna need the cold lining eventually, but the warm lining would be nice. We can't get into the ashen cloth until we get a Coke oven made. So we might need to get to that because ashen cloth needs, needs slag. So we need to make a Coke oven to then make a blast furnace. 
that sort of deal. Um, not this slag, the other slag, but you know. Uh, so we would be going to this section and getting into embers because we can do this one and then the coke ovens right here the blast furnace is a little further on so we'll be able to get to that and that's kind of the direction we're headed today i don't know if that's where we'll end up but that's our direction today so there you go let's start with the rats we did a little bit of that we made ourselves a cauldron so we could get a cow in a jar to get milk so we can try to get some cheese to improve our nutrition stats we've been eating cheese on its own to get the nutrition stats okay and we've been getting turds through the strainer and whenever you kill mobs you get some turds okay so we've gotten those so this is where we're at we need to make some fromunda cheese fromunda cheese is in the trader's workshop with some turds and a block of cheese it's just to make stinky cheese <laughs> So we're going to do that and we're going to do it. Um, it's a way to spawn in the, the, the rats. We only need one right now. So we'll make a stinky cheese. All right. And we get an extra breath. Rats will not take damage from drowning or suffocation, which means we could take them with us underwater. That's what this one does. I am not sure what we would do with them underwater, but okay. So when I've done this, I've got more. So let's just hold the amount that it wants me to have. There we go. And we get we get a rat cage. Sweet. That that'll be helpful. Interact with while having a rat on your shoulder deposit. Rats will breed with each other while in the same cage. All right, good to know. Um, chop your cheese into slices in your farmer's work table. Drop cheese to the rat to tame it. It can take a dozen more slices to tame a rat. Once tamed, you can right-click your rat to open its inventory. They can use helms and weapons along with upgrades. You can pick your rat up on your shoulder by sneak right-clicking, and you can put them down at your feet by sneak right-clicking air. I think it's supposed to be just sneak clicking. I don't think it's right-click from what I've been reading and hearing. So we've got that. We'll be doing it in just a second. Rats are smart and tricky rodents. They have a terrible tendency to run around and get into trouble if you take your eyes off of them for a few seconds. They have been known to crawl through the hub key holes in your walls, dive into the moon pool, and crawl under any fences you erect. Oh dear. You may want to rat proof your base a bit by covering your keyholes and moon pool. Well, see, in this, I thought this would work, but they apparently can crawl underneath this. So I'm going to need to do, um, I wonder if they will crawl through walls. I don't know. I was just, this is the same fence that was around here. I just removed it and thought, hey, we'll put the rats in here. But if that's not going to hold them, let's get, let's get some cobble. And we'll make some walls and see if the cobble walls work. All right, so let's get you picked up. Oh, shoot. I didn't want to do that. Put you back. <laughs> All right. Let's try this. Alright, now the stinky cheese. And I should be able to just break you. And we get an egg. Okay, looks like we have a regular rat. It's not giving off any particles, so we don't have a plague rat. So we should be able to just chuck some cheese in there. And at some point it will start loving us.
Oh, come on. Love me. Thank you. It loves me now. So now we should be able to interact with it. Yep. And we're going to click just stay here. Um, we don't need it to travel anywhere. We have a mail. All right. Awesome. So we're just going to let him stay there for now while we continue. Let's make some trap doors. And uh, do I have any scrap in here? Go from there. I don't think I need to do it in there. Okay. Four trap doors. Which we will go ahead and cover up a few of these things. Just in case we happen to have it running around. Wrong way. There we go. And of course, we'll probably want to cover that. Um, will that be okay? I'll probably get hung up on that, won't I? Start with that, and we'll make more. We shall make more. Great. All right, so we got the rest of that running. Probably gonna fill this up. Anyway, next quest we get a fluid allocator, stores and transfers fluid. What mod are you? Thermal expansion. Hmm. I wonder why we got this. I, there has to be a reason behind getting it. I'm not quite sure why. I'll have to think about that. So then the next one, Hyde Piper. The cheese staff is your means of communicating with your rats. You must sneak click a rat to bind it, then sneak click on a container to instruct it to place or remove items from it. Tip, just like pipes, the side of the machine you select with the wand is the side the rat will interact with. If you want a rat to deposit items into the furnace input, you must select the top to remove the smelted items the right side of the furnace. To remove, isn't it the bottom? The sides are where you input fuel. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to get a blacklist and a flight. Okay, so let's make a cheese staff. A block of cheese and some sticks. That's true, unless all sides but the right side is fuel. Uh-huh. I have a block of cheese on me, right? And I have sticks. Okay. So this is the one we need to do this in. All right.
Great. So we can tell it to do things now. Um, rumor has it the rat in these waters descended from the great rat chef Ratatouille. They seem to be adept at cooking, smelting, and mincing items. Place the chef upgrade on one of your rats, then give them certain foods to create a fancy meal. Ingots or um, to rolling pin them into plates or alloy blends to saute them into their ingot forms. Truly useful rodents. The recipes appear in JEI. So this is where we're, this is the direction I wanted to go because one of the food items that the rat chef can make covers dairy and grain. And grain is something we currently cannot get in our nutrition. So clippings and trimmings are made in a trader's workshop with leaves carrots apples we need some purified water so let's do the purified water this one this one busy this one they're all they're all busy let's put you in there do i have room let's take the non metal stuff out there's our purified water all right really want to deal with um storage and whatnot today too if possible but don't know yet all right so we need leaves apples and carrots leaves apples Carrots are over here, and that. Do this, and then we're going to do that. Right. And I want to do enough to use up this water, so let's grab some more leaves there we go use up the water and then that took care of that so now we get the chef rat happy happy all right, so we're gonna turn our rat into a chef. I need to make a chest so I can make a hopper. We're gonna park him on top of a hopper. All right. Do I have a workbench in here? Oh, it's up here, that's why. All right, there we're gonna park you over here. And do I want it just to go into this chest? I don't see why not. All right, and interact with you again. We're gonna give you the hat, give you the rat upgrade, and we're gonna pick you up, put you down push you over there you go okay so the grossness begins <laughs> um if we do this does he um there we go here's what the rat can do it can make us string cheese out of the cheese pieces it can make us mixed salad out of the clippings and trimmings that we just made and this is the one that we need to do it takes a turd and turns it into a meringue brownie and this has dairy and 
green and green is the thing we're really missing so I'm gonna be making these I think um, that is the only food items it currently makes the others are showing you that it can take the blends and make ingots and plates and stuff <laughs> yeah so if we interact with the rat and we give it the turds he's going to He's going to turn them into meringue brownies, and he'll hold on to one. That's what he's got on his back. But extras, he'll just drop, and they'll end up in here. So there is our green for now. <laughs> and I'm going to put regular turds in here. Um, let's put you in there. So yeah, he is currently using up the turds and turning them into meringue brownies for us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> um, next. Oh, see, it already tells us we want to do this. An eight mixed salad. We have ten of these, so when you're done with the turds, we'll give you the clippings. And we'll be able to do that, and we'll get an, a whitelist upgrade. The little initial setup, you can have your rats retrieving items from your sluice chest and take them and be smelted. Have another rat take the items from the furnace and deposit them into your drawer controller. You can even have a rat harvest trees for charcoal. Your chef rat can hold one stack of items to process. It will drop them on the ground once processed, so make sure to sit him on top of a hopper. Hey, we already did that. So yeah, um, are you done? It looks like he's done. So let's give him the clippings and let him make some salad. All right. We'll get those done. Um, there will be mobs in the different structures you explore around the ocean floor. Take a rat with you. They're very capable fighters. Ooh. Upgrade them to warrior status and make sure to give them a helm and sword. There are even buccaneer rats that fire cannons. Be careful if the rat dies. The upgrades go with it. Ugh. Um, This cannon breaks blocks. Good to know. We already have a buccaneer upgrade. I think I got it from loot. So yeah. Okay, so we have enough of these to count as our... There we go. So we got this one done. We get a whitelist upgrade. Um, making these, are they difficult to make? No. All right, good to know for that. So for this one, we need to make the rat upgrade warrior. Silver chest plates, flint knives, and a basic upgrade. Okay. So we just need some cheese and some prismarine, which we're already getting. I already have some cheese on me. And prismarine's in here. Warrior. So make you, and then we need a bunch of silver. Um, how many of those? Four. Make sure they're crafted the way I think they are. Okay. One, two, three, four. And then the flint knives are two flint string and sticks. So we need flint. Let's put the silver excess away. I need some string. Let's put you away. Do I have room to put you away? A little bit. We'll turn you into some fruit juice here in a moment. Uh, oh, I could have done that up here. One, two, of course. And 
Okay, so that should be it. Yay! That's kind of cool though, we'll have a buddy to help us fight. I don't know how if it has, I don't think it will have issues with temperature. And we'll probably need to figure out how to combine these so that we can have the, the breathing so it won't drown when you take it places. Um, yeah, flight might be nice to give it too. So that's a thought. So we get the Buccaneer one, which we already have one of. With a bit of ingenuity and setup, you could automate the entire process of water strainer to sluice to furnace. This would require a combination of automated users, the only machines that will interact with sluices, rats, buckets, hoppers, etc. A worthwhile time investment and fun project to figure out. Hint, rats can't swim, so they will need access to the bottom of a strainer if you want them to pull out items. Fluid and item conduits can be purchased on the Guild Trades tab, and you can craft artisan workshops. The recipes aren't too tough. So we get a Rats and You information tab thing. So what's that show us? Ah, yeah. Gotcha. Good to know! Just reading it. Feel free to read it too. Okay. Cool. We're gonna put this here. And here's the next thing, combo maker. You may find the need to combine multiple upgrades. Hey! To have rats perform a slightly more complicated job. Use the rat upgrade combiner to combine upgrades. Place the rat upgrade combined. It's probably the modifier thing on the left and the upgrade you want to add to it on the right. Place multiple gems of Ratlantis in the bottom slot to fuel the machine. Repeat to add additional upgrades to the... Okay, so we just need to keep adding it and this will have all the upgrades in one spot. So this is Bone Blocks and Fromunda Cheese. Okie dokie. One of you. And we can do bone meal out of these fish bones. Um, can I grind them for more? Can't put it in there. Can I put it in here? No. Okay, good to know. Um, let's do a stack. Okay, so the Fromunda cheese. That was in a farmer's table, wasn't it? Yep. And then bone blocks, probably made in a regular one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the combiner. There we go, a rat upgrade combiner. Let's put you over with the other rat stuff. Put you right there. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, and it follows you. How creepy. And we also need the combined rat upgrade, this. Okay, so we need to make some more clippings. And we need some more of you. 
And probably, let's grab some of that cheese. Uh huh. And we need to do clippings. Oh, that needs purified water, doesn't it? <sighs> That's probably not where I want that. I just want to keep it so I don't jump off this side. And hey, hey, fences. We'll, we'll have to change those cobblestone walls out, I think. All right, water. Actually, I have regular water here. Smelt me. Do I have space to put you? Yes, okay. I know I can use a pipette to take the excess water out of here. I just don't. Might as well make it all, right? So there's that, and we just need the water. that it gives us five gems of Atlantis can we make those yes we need green coral but we can make them an archaeologist rat can get them too if you give them emeralds and we can have a chance of getting them in treasure chests. All right. So let's put these in there and we'll put to the combined one in here. And yeah, I'll probably create one at some point, but for now, for now that's the rat stuff, right? I have a bunch of other garbage in my inventory, but that is the rat stuff. Okay. Wrong button. This is the button we want. Ooh, we've done all this stuff. From this point forward, your journey can branch into many directions. It can be a bit overwhelming to decide what to work on next, but that's the fun of it, yes? Further tabs will open up as you complete others. Suggestion, consider working towards getting diving gear so you can explore around your hub. Then consider getting your auto sluice and steel production. We already have our diving gear, the initial diving gear, and we already have semi-automated sluice. So it's technically once we, we need to head towards steel. Once you can make steel, you can make your submarine, which opens up a world of options. Power cells for the submarine craft is fully charged, so generating power isn't immediately required. Once you have a submarine, you can explore for nether and or end temples to visit other dimensions, or stop by an ocean village to trade with the merchants. Yes, please. All the things. We have nothing within visible radius of us, so I need something to travel further. There is... You can't see, there's nothing with invisible radius. We'd have to travel further. So yeah, that will become very necessary. Wrong button again. So apparently, I mean, we can do these just to complete out the chapter. I will at some point, there, there's, you get money, little bits of money for making things. Um, we can do the solder wire from here. Um, and then we need to do the fluid tank, which is going to require us a little bit of work. So here, see if you can see the blacksmith's table. It's going to require some invar and a quartz bucket to make this. So we're going to, we'll get there. <laughs> the quartz bucket is nether quartz. Guess where you get that? The nether. Exactly. So 
We will, you know, we'll need to go to the nether before we can do that. Uh, shipping and handling. Again, reminding you, this one auto-completed even though I don't have any flame string. We need to go to the nether first. So I'm not going to claim this until I actually have the flame string. Hi, Silver. So, yeah, we're going to leave that one until I get to the nether. Uh, it would be nice to do either to do either this one, easy storage, or storage drawers. I'm not sure which one might be easier to get into, but easy storage. We've used this once before. If you recall, um, the um, the simple life year one, I believe it was when I was making the um, Victorian pink lady house um, that had easy storage in it. So. This one obviously is a more updated version, but uh, it might be nice to see if we can get into this. Um, instead of having all these chests and drawers everywhere. So that's tempting. Uh, the other thing is we can go back to doing here and get into this stuff because we need to get to steel according to the recommended suggestions from the introduction. And that is in this direction. We need to start here and do some of this and then get over here and do this. The cook bricks require us to get dry coral reef, dry reef, and caimanite. Okay, we already get the clay to make bricks. The dry reef means we need to go down and harvest some coral blocks. We didn't do that. We just kind of picked out the stuff from up here that spawned. We will need to go down with our new diving gear and collect some on the seafloor for the coke oven. Um, the caimanite is with this caimanite blend, which is sand and clay. Okay. In a chemist workshop. Now that we can definitely do. We just need to go down and grab enough, um, coral to make this. The, um, caimanite is here. We can go ahead and tackle that as well. And we get a little bit of money for doing so. And it does say you need a lot more caimanite um, than is required for the quest. So make sure you're getting bone meal and sand. Or was it clay? Bone meal? Whatever. Whatever this is. Yeah, clay and sand. Okay. So that's our next step. I think we're going to get the caimanite blend. And then we're going to go down and get some more coral to make the coke bricks so that we can have a coke oven. We'll have a source of creosote. We will have nowhere to put it right away because we won't have a tank and we need to go to the nether to make that tank. So there's kind of a challenge there. We're going to need to try to figure out how to explore without a submarine because we need to find the nether, a nether portal somewhere. There are two options to us. There is digging down underneath the ground layer and making tunnels. Or there's a option of going up to the surface and using a boat. The challenge with going up to the surface is that it's very, very cold, even at the air level. And so we would need stuff to stay warm. And going up that far, we can't see the, the ground. We can't see the bottom. So we don't know what we're looking at. I've already been up there and almost froze to death. So there is a boat abandoned up there somewhere that's mine. Anyway. Um, yeah. The only other option is to dig down and just kind of go a certain direction and then poke our head up every once in a while to see if we can see structures like villages and nether portals and end portals and you know things like that so what would you suggest what would you guys suggest should i go up or should i go down and i have no storage anywhere for anything it's so frustrating <sighs> all right Um, you can chuck the apples in there. Clippings. I think we're going to go down. And I think what we're going to do is create 
We've got the bubble stream stuff that we got from a you know a quest reward. So we have magma block, which we're gonna make two, and we have the soul sand. So we can make up and downs. Up and downs plural. Let's make another one. And we should eat. Alright. It's a compressed gravel and a magma shard. There we go. And let's have our first brownie. Woo. Um, how did that do for nutrition? Okay. Went up four points for grain, so that's cool. Um, we'll hang on to those for now. And this will be for veggies once our carrot juice is gone. And we've got to get some more meat for protein. All right, so what I want to do is make the up and down here. Um, I saw who was it? Mischief of Mice did this, and I really liked it, that he had the up and down in the hallway here of the hub. So I want to do the same thing. Because <laughs> I just really liked it. So he did... Um, he had some prismarine, so we'll start with that. And he broke out... Is this... These two spots? Um... This is not going to be pleasant, so we're going to grab some blocks. Okay, so we can start doing this, and then those. Swimming, swimming. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Alright. There we go. And then he had access to below, like there. There's one going up. And then we had another one. He had another one over here for going down. So we need to do the same thing again. Oh, come on, you can do it. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Great. And then pop these out. Move the water up. Alright, so now we should be able to do... Go straight down and place soul sand straight down and then do it again for the up so let's switch to our diving gear don't have why do i have the silver knife on me i'm confused by that i don't have a shovel how much is left on here 13 what do i have over here do i have any that i can use up I have a diamond one, but I want to hang on to that. Alright. We need to make a shovel at some point. <laughs> I 
All right, so this will be the up. We'll use this as the up. You go straight down. Is it this one? Let's find out. It looks like they're both bubbles. Yep. Okay. So there's our up and we'll put signs to say up. And then these will be our down. And there's our down. And while we're down here, I know it's dark. Try to do this quickly. I'm not sure how many I need. I was also told there's occasionally um, treasure chests down in the coral reef area. You need more than one, less than a million. Yeah, that makes sense. Ninety-six seconds of breathing and we're not yet frozen so let's gather a stack I think we should be good at getting a stack before we need to head up there we go all right let's come over here And there's our up. Woo. All right. Great. We got a whole bunch of coral while we're down there too, including some green stuff that we can make the Ratlantis things. Woohoo. Um, this had coral in it, so we'll just put the rest of the coral in it. We got one more than a stack. We are cold. See our little dot is blue. <sighs> All right. We're doing coke oven bricks, which are these. So we'll bookmark those, and in order to do those, we need to do Caymanite Bricks, which is the Caymanite Blend. All right. Caymanite Blend, let's get some of that going. We need to do a stack of it for the um, I have, well, it's a fish farm. It's going to push fish up into here. We got a peeper. High calorie count, edible prey fish. We can cook it. Yep, and eat it. Fantastic. What is this from? Don't know. What mod are you from? Mm. Will it tell me now? Does the debug stuff? Yep, okay. Better diving. All right, so we need clay and we need bone meal. And I think 
think we put the clay in here. Yeah. And how quickly does that work? Well, we're going to jump here a while. It's either that or place it all down. I don't, if I have vein miner, I wonder if I do. I know I have whatever, it, it's a different, the tree capitator mod that takes the whole tree down, but I don't know if it works, if it, if it, if there's a vein miner. I'm not gonna hunt. We're just gonna do this for a couple more. One more block. Okay. And then the bones. All right, and then we need the chemist's table. Blacksmith, chemist table. And then what do we need? We need purified water. Do we have space? Yes, okay. In the chemist's in there. That is um it's not bone meal, it's sand winry. <sighs> there we go. Alright, so that is it empty. It made us a stack in four. So that should have completed, yep. And that'll give us a little bit of money. And then let's turn them into bricks. We need 27 of these. And if each one does two, we need to do this. 14 times? 14 times four. All right, so let's make those into bricks. Put the clay in there. Oh, we need to dry these. So we'll do that. And then we need to actually make bricks, don't we? All right, so we need to get those going. Also, let's jump on this some more. Woohoo! Thank you for looking. Oh, and I wasn't, I was pretty sure no kind of vein miner was actually in the pack, but uh, yeah. What are you doing? Hey, Booly Man. Doing good. Let's get these things. Do, do, do. do. Oh, I kind of need to keep in mind that there's no room for everything. <laughs> no room in here. We need to make room. Um, it looks like we probably get everything made in here. Alright, and so where are we going to put it? Are we going to put it on this wall? We could definitely move these things into where the rats are located. here. We'll do that for now. 
I am enjoying the pack. It is definitely something that's been missing for a while. There's been a lot of 112 packs out there that are all the same old same old. And this one isn't same old same old, so that makes it that makes it good. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hunting for an entertaining pack to do. I must have stood too close to these furnaces. Why am I warm? Probably. Um... Okay. Things, stuff and things are being made as we speak. Let's see here. The coke bricks are in the blacksmiths. We need to make some purified water. And we're going to need a lot of it. So let's go get our gold bucket that we've got. Somewhere. Our gold bucket is somewhere. <laughs> and we'll get that going as well. He was expecting gimmick on Skyblack, but this seems better built than a flat-out Skyblack smushed underwater. Oh, and that's a really nice compliment. <laughs> okay, and this was in the blacksmith's table? Yes, blacksmith's table. That one. Alright. We need to make bricks. We get started on you. All right. And we need more of these. Don't we? What do we have going in here? Uh, hey, go there. And these. So we just need bricks, 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 lots of the bricks, all the bricks. And we're definitely gonna, we're likely gonna need more water, but um. um grits is, the the server they're playing on is stone block two i believe so if you're wondering what sort of things they're working on the grit server is stone block two we are on brunch so i mean you won't see things say brunch because it'll be in game but just so you guys know with the discord integration grits is stone block two is what they're playing I was not interested in stone block one, so stone block two was not going to get me anywhere. Um, I think 14 is what we wanted, right? So we have enough Caimanite bricks and... Almost enough dry reef. Stone block was too stony. <laughs> oh, that's not where I wanted that. <laughs> okay, so we just need the bricks. One more. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yay. Okay. That made them all. We're gonna need to pipe that out. I need to make, I find the pipette. I need to find the pipette because I probably am not gonna need that um, in there right now. I know I had one and I've not used it. Is 
That's got rat stuff. If I've not used it, where in the world could it be? By the way, if you looked real quick, there's a creeper head in there. That is because I had one spawn a little space. I don't know where my pipette went. I had one spawnable space on top of the steam hammer this morning, so when I logged in, I had to kill a creeper. Yeah. <laughs> Guess we're making another pipette. Let's see. Glass. And do I have any panes? I have extra glass. And I need to eat. My invent my food bar says it's time to eat. Alright, so we're going to empty you. Does that completely empty it? I hope so. Looks like it. Alright, so let's see our nutrition values. We definitely need grain. We're gonna get grain and dairy from that brownie. And then we should have a veggie. So let's eat two of these. And the last of the carrot juice. We'll put the mixed salad down there. We're getting there. Woohoo! Do we have perpetual speed or no, they're just gonna go away. Okay. Let's put the money away. Our inventory is looking like crud. We definitely need to be working on that. And I think I'm gonna see if I can technically quote unquote skip storage drawers and go to easy storage right now. I, I haven't looked at any of the recipes, so I don't know um, how challenging either of them are. Let's put the pipette in here. The rest of the... I have... Why am I getting the tools? I don't understand why I'm getting the tools in my inventory. I wish they would just go into the mechanical toolbox if I they weren't being used in the recipe. Grr. Okay, where did I put my engineer's hammer? <laughs> uh, there it is. Um, let's put you in the corner here. And I'm pretty sure it's hollow. Okay, so maybe not. There we go. And then we should be able to put coal in here and get creos, get coal coke and creosote. 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 